Now there's another set of guidelines that I want you to be familiar with, and these are called design principles. These are generalizable abstractions for thinking about different aspects of design. Now an easy way to think of it, you can think of it as some of the do's and don'ts of interaction design. What are some of the things you do want to do? What are some of the things you don't want to do? And these are guidelines that will help you build better designs. Now, when you actually go through these design principles, you're going to find it's actually derived from a mix of things. Some of it is theory-based knowledge, what we know about or what we have theories about in terms of humans, experience that we have had in the user experience field, and here's the one that people sometimes have the most trouble with, common sense. How many of you have heard the term common sense is not common? Okay, you guys have to have heard that. No? Do you think everyone has common sense? Yeah, not so much. And common sense to us is not always the same common sense as other people. But many will argue there is an overall universal common sense that we want to think about when we are designing, especially thinking about the user. If you can get to something in three clicks, as a user, do you want a designer to design a system where it's going to take 10 to accomplish that goal? No. Is that common sense? I hope it's common sense. Now, one of the things I do want to mention about design principles before we start going into them is these design principles, if you actually do a search on the internet, and actually the same is true of the usability goals, you will find that there are different sets of usability goals and different sets of design principles and people use slightly different terminology. The one thing you will find though is that when you look at the concepts, the concepts really are what they have in common with each other. So I do want you to know the terms, but I especially want you to understand what they mean. 